Hello everybody, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be doing an open tag response to uh, Gary, uh, the last ranger. Uh, he's currently sort of in hospital dealing with some medical problems at the moment. So Gary, we wish you all a, a very sort of speedy recovery. We hope things aren't too bad for you. I know it's a hell of a thing that you've got. But from everyone in the knife community, I know we're all sort of banding together and hope you feel better soon. And the open tag I'm going to be taking part in is top three knives I've EDC'd of the second quarter of 2023. And before I go into it, yes, there's going to be four knives, but I'm at the point in my EDC where I always carry one sort of knife and then something else accompanies it. So I've done that knife plus the three that I would carry with that on the sort of a daily basis regularly. So we'll get the first one out of the way and it's any of the Victorian Ox knives, to be honest. And I've picked the Huntsman as this is the one I believe I've carried the most in the second quarter. So it's a really sort of useful pattern. You have the four layer design, uh, you have the standard sort of tools, you've got the can opener and the small flathead there. You have the large flathead, the cap lifter and the wire stripper. And then you also have, so we have the really useful scissors, one of the most used tools for me on a Victorian Ox knife. And uh, you have the saw really sort of aggressive saw and it, it it cuts through wood like butter it's it's crazy good how it how, how well you can cut with it for such a small little handheld saw really great tool uh, you also have the sort of the normal large spear point blade on there and the smaller pen blade on the rear you have the standard tools as well so you have the the tweezers you also have the toothpick on the back with the key ring. And then the final tools on the back you have are the owl slash reamer with the sewing eye. You have the parcel hook, which is actually quickly becoming one of my favorite tools on it, just for the, the amount of different uses. And then you have probably the least used tool for me is the corkscrew. Kind of wish this was the Phillips screwdriver, but you know, you can't have everything. But yeah, this is probably the one I carried the most over the last sort of, or well, the second quarter of 2023. So you've got like March to June um, or end of June. This is probably the one I carried the most, but there are other ones that I've carried a lot in there. But, you know, as I said, this is definitely the one I've used the most, I would say. And I do carry a sack every day. It's something I think someone should, you should always carry a sack or a multi-tool or something. It is really useful if you're in a pinch, you get sort of, trap somewhere or you know you have to you're out for the full day you know you've got enough tools to sort of get you by so there's the first one the victorian ox huntsman and you know as i'm a mainly a traditional guy that my main carry for the last sort of the second quarter has been traditional knives so first up um this is in no particular order it's just the three i've got them here is the the case sod buster junior and this is in their carbon steel which i believe is their own sort of version of 1095 you can see i've got a nice patina or you know as they like to call it teener forming on there you see on the back as well it's like blackening you've got like the bronzes the purples blues all those sorts of colors on there so I, I pretty much use this a lot of the time as well i'm still carrying it now it's just a really a really nice work knife you've got a nice chunky handle so you've got a good grip carbon steel is easy to maintain strop it up at the end of the day and it goes back to being absolutely razor sharp holds a wicked edge and you can see nice grind on there see the usa made the model number is 3137 and you can just see that cs there for carbon steel and there is the the case tang stamp with the what have we got there eight dots this is a 2022 really nice knife put together really well from case maybe the tiniest amount of gapping up here and a little bit here but there's no blade wobble it's rock solid. The retentions on it's really great. Uh, it's just a knife I really enjoy carrying. We'll be looking to get in some of the bone handles because they're a little bit thinner and you know a little bit more classy. But I'm waiting until I can find a bone one with the carbon steel blades. As soon as I find that, I'll be pulling the trigger straight away. Uh, next up, we have the Queen Saw Cut Bone Stockman. Uh, I don't think I need to give any explanation about why this is a sort of a main carry for me. I mean, just look at it. You get the three blades on there nice satin grind the pulls are fantastic 
subtle swedging, queen tang stamp there as well. And I mean, the edge grind on this is fantastic. I've not put my own on this, this is factory. Just a really well put together knife. The sheep's foot blade here. Uh, I really urge anyone to pick up one of these. In the UK, I believe they're currently £22 on Heine Haynes. And for that money, it's an absolute bargain. And the model number for that is QN014. That's the Queen Saw Cut Bone Stockman. Stockmans have become a sort of a, a massive part of my EDC and my rotation. I've really started enjoying those. So I'm picking up more and more as we go. This, but this is the one I've sort of carried the most. We've got the Queen Saw Cut Bone Stockman. Put that up there. And then last up, probably the most expensive one I carry on a regular basis. This is the number 88 pattern from GEC. And this is the Bayou Trapper. And this is in the white acrylic. And this is the Yeti, they call it. There is sort of wave lines in the acrylic, but it's really hard to see under the camera. When you take it out in the natural light, you can really see, you know, like the waves of the acrylic through it. But, you know, the camera's not picking that up. But we got like nickel silver bolsters, brass pins, nickel silver shield. And as you'd expect from a GEC, it, I mean, it, the fit and finish is perfect. The condition of mine is, is okay, but I use these. I've recently just cleaned the patina off the blade, so they are a bit shiny for me, the blades, but, you know, they'll patina up pretty quickly. Of course, as it's 1095 carbon steel, but no gapping at all on the back. Transition's perfect, fit and finish is perfect, and you have this lamb's foot blade. You see the model number there. You've got 88 is the pattern. The third eight is the main blade number designation, which is the muskrat clip, which is eight. The, the fourth number is two, which means there's two blades. And the final 222 means this was made in 2022. There you can see nice sheep's foot blade there. Very subtle sort of swedging on there. Nice clean nail neck. And on the back here you can see it's got Great Eastern Cutlery. Tidutesville PA. Half stops on here as well. Nice and crisp. And the walk and talk is just fantastic on this. And I think the reason I love this so much is, it, I mean, it's pretty much a sow belly trapper, isn't it? They're calling it the Bayou Trapper, but for me it's a sow belly trapper. And here's the muskrat clip. Bit of swedging up here and down here. And I really do think it's, it's a really comfortable knife in hand. I did have to round off this little bit of tang a bit because it was sharp when I got it. But it's really comfortable now. See the tang stamp there as well. And then the carbon on the back there. You can see where I've missed a bit with the patina on there. And you can just about make out the Yeti text. And you can just see that just about there. But obviously that's coming off when I when I took off the patina. But again, yeah, this is one I carry on a very sort of regular basis. Uh, it's in my pocket, I'd say, twice a week at the moment still. This is just a fantastic knife. And it's one I'm not sort of afraid to put to work because I know it can take it. It's, it's built really well. It's rock solid when it's open. But there we go guys, that's my sort of open tag response to knives I've carried the most in the second quarter of 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.